start the jump. The jumping looks so pretty. I'll just let let the sink in for a second before I continue talking. Um, yeah, because it's very pretty. Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Undying Blaze, and welcome for the first time ever to Elite Dangerous. Now, you'll notice I'm a little bit less excited, and that is not because I have no energy. That is because I'm deciding to be a little bit calmer in this video, so that I say a little bit more and make a little bit more sense. Also, so that I fly a little bit better. So, if you are not familiar with Elite Dangerous, it is this amazing open-world space game that takes place in the entire Milky Way galaxy. And if you don't believe me, let's just go over here and look at our map. And, uh, so this is where I am right now. I'm at, uh, LP751-1. Uh, and I'm doing solo play, so I'm not playing online at the moment. I will in the future, but not right now. So this is an entire star system. This little dot rep represents an entire solar system that has, uh... Let's open up the system map. It has, um... Okay, here we go. It has all these different planets to go to, and an asteroid belt. And this is a moon, I believe. And this is the station that I'm on right now. These are some different types of stations that you can go to. Uh, and, yeah. So if you have the season pass, you can land on most of these different moons and planets. However, I do not, at this point, have it. That is going to be, like, the next purchase for me. Um, so in probably a month, I think I'll have it. <clears throat> So anyway, so this is an entire star system with, like, a ton of moons and planets, right? So let's just back up a little bit, and I think with my current jump capabilities with my ship, I could get to maybe here, okay? Like, without running out of fuel. So I can get to most of these places without running out of fuel. So I'd have to refuel after I reach this point. So I'd have to refuel once halfway here, which would take probably, like, 20 minutes at least to get all the way out here. Um, just jumping from system to system without visiting anything. It takes probably like 10-20 minutes to visit any planet you want to once you're in a system. So let's just zoom out a little bit more. Now this is ridiculous. I don't know that I'll ever even make it out here, right? Or any of these stars. Let's just keep on zooming out. And this is just a ridiculous amount of space, right? And we'll zoom all the way out. This is the entire Milky Way galaxy. That's the galaxy we live in right now, and these are all real places. Um, I know that it's kind of, I believe, randomly generated, but, like, this is how many stars there are in the actual Milky Way galaxy. This is super, super realistic. Like, if we had the ability, because um, I think you need a, a special pass, we can go to the Soul System, which is actually kind of near where I am. It's within a few... Uh, few jumps, <laughs> at least. So anyway, so if I wanted to go to Seoul, I would have to get a uh, Seoul system permit. That's what it says. And that's um, our galaxy. So, or our, not our galaxy. Sorry, this whole thing is our galaxy. This is our system right here. So here we go. So I'm sure you guys recognize all of this. You got Pluto with... Uh, Char Charon, I don't know, <laughs> and then Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, and then, uh, what the, oh, cool, that's awesome, okay, so anyway, so yeah, we've got Jupiter here, and then we've got Mars, which Mars, huh, Mars has been terraformed, that's kind of awesome, so they made in this, Mars is an Earth-like planet now, because they've made it habitable for humans. That's awesome, I didn't even know. I haven't been to the solar system, so I don't know. This is Earth, um, and I don't believe you can land on Earth or Mars in this game, at least yet. I really hope that they allow you to land on atmospheric planets. You can only land on planets without atmosphere, so I believe you could land on Mercury, and you could land on... Uh, Pluto and some of the moons over here. Pretty much. Where's that one moon that I really like? <laughs> uh, this one. This one apparently, like, 
is known for having the possibility of having life underneath its sheets of ice. Um, or at least it was, at least as far as I remember. I think this one was a pretty interesting one also. So anyway, these are all places I really want to go in the future, but I need to get the soul system permit, and I'm not entirely sure how to do that. So if you guys know how to do that, that'd be awesome. But anyway, the system that I live in, whoops, the star system that I live in is called Panoi, which we are heading there uh, right now. So you'll see it's neighboring the star system that I'm at. So I have to jump from here to here. That, the distance away is about 6.52 light years away. So light would take 6.52 years to get there. But I can go uh, like 10,000 times the speed of light. So I think that's not a huge deal. So anyway, I've set up my uh, coordinates. Now right, na right now you'll see in the bottom right of my screen that I'm carrying illicit cargo. Um, it's right over there. And that means that if I get scanned when I'm flying out of this uh, space station, I am completely screwed and I have a fee. Um, I didn't mean to be carrying illicit cargo. I'm normally a smuggler, but I'm trying out becoming just a trader. I just ship stuff. I don't really care if it's dangerous as long as it's legal. Um, so there's that. Now, um, I'll give you a bit more of the capabilities of my ship, but I'm sure you guys want to see it fly. So I'm going to uh, launch, and right now, once I get out onto the launch pad, I'm going to turn on my headlights, and we're going to take off and fly out of here as fast as I can. And release. Okay, here we go. Lights on, landing gear in, and now we're going to boost the heck out of here. Hopefully we don't collide with a ship. Okay. Warning. Temperature critical. Oh crap, I'm in silent running. Alright, I'm gonna release a heat sink, which it dumps all of the heat in my entire ship into this tiny little chunk of metal and then shoots it out the side, which it's about to do. There we go, and now you can see the ice build up, it's so cool. Alright, and now I'm gonna shut off silent running. I didn't realize I was in silent running. So apparently, apparently I had activated it when I, when I was landing, I think I activated silent running, which was kind of funny, um, cause I was being scanned as I was landing, so as soon as I finish this next jump, I'm going to dump my cargo because the mission that I, uh, had the cargo for actually ended. Oh my gosh, I need some more energy. There we go. Perfect. Oh my goodness. You know what's kind of funny is that a lot of people don't like the taste of Monster. And I'm not like, obviously I'm not sponsored by them or anything, so I'm not getting paid to say that. I just freaking, I'm addicted to that and Coke, I swear. Like, I'm not actually addicted to Monster, I just love the taste. Um, alright. So anyway, so we're in the Panoi system now. And this is the, uh, star. I'm sure that the star is called Panoi. Or Panoi, or whatever you want to say. So this is this is the pretty little star. It's actually freaking huge. Okay, so let's go to our ship systems. Let's go to our inventory. So these are superconductors that are stolen, apparently. Um, oh, I think it's only stolen because I canceled the mission. Okay, so that's cool. So I jettisoned the cargo. Now you can't do that next to a star uh, station or a, a space station, I guess because they'll fine you for it. So I had to do it out here in the middle of space. So I'm going to the Garen Hub, which is my home. It's basically my adopted home. So I'm in Super Cruise, Super Cruise right now. You can see on the bottom, uh, or sorry, on the top right of my little radar at the middle of my screen, uh, right there, you can see that I'm going 7C, 8C, 9C, 10C. C is the, uh, the speed of light. If you're familiar with the equation E equals MC squared that Einstein made, that uh, refers to energy and mass and the speed of light. It's it's a crazy, um, <laughs> it's a crazy equation. But anyway, so C in that in the MC squared, uh, so energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. So that that's a little bit of knowledge for you. But anyway, so. Now that you know that C equals the speed of light, that means I'm going right now 29 times the speed of light, which is ridiculous. So, 
Um, yeah, it's it's going it's it's going pretty nuts right now. Now, there's a lot of people that theorize that if you go faster than the speed of light, um, you will be going faster than like the speed of time. Um, which is kind of interesting, or like, it's, it's not exactly like that, that's a really crude way to describe it, but it's kind of, it's kind of a theory that kind of bounces around. I personally am of the theory that light being, uh, like a wave and a particle at the same time, as much as it has a maximum speed, I think that, <clears throat> whoops, I think that if we found a way to go faster than it, we'd just be going faster than it. And I think that the the relative speed has no real measure because what if, you know, whoop, oh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta escape this. So someone's trying right now to rip me out of Super Cruise so that they can attack me. And I, even if I get attacked, I have mines and a really quick ship. But I'm gonna try to stay on this as good as I can so that I don't get captured. Come on. Bring it on. And... That's pretty much a victory for me. As soon as I line this up again, it should... There we go. So I evaded the interdiction. So yeah, I don't know why this guy's trying to attack me, because I have no fines in any system, and I'm not carrying any cargo, so there's no, no benefit to attacking me. Freaking AI is so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can slow down fast enough. And that's definitely a no. I'm gonna have to go around the hub. But this is basically my home star system. Anyway, so as I was saying before, I think I personally, like I'm not an expert in this. I've only taken a few physics courses over the span of my life. So it's not like I'm an expert and I know exactly what's going on. Whoops, I accidentally deployed my mine launchers. Um, anyway, it's not like I know exactly everything I'm talking about, but I feel like if like speed it won't affect um, like time. I think that it kind of is the same no matter what speed you're going, personally. So I think that just faster than the speed of light is just faster than the speed of light, and it's not as complex as some people make it. I may be completely wrong, but that's just my opinion. Not from the views of a scientist, but from the views of a fairly observant person. At least I'd like to think so. So anyway, this is the Garen Hub. This is pretty much what I call home. It's a very pretty place. Um, and yeah. Most of the reason I like it is because it's a really easy place to remember. I think it's only got one large star or star station, so it's easier to um, to figure out or to remember which which one's your home. I also have auto landing enabled, which is super 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 nice. So I'm gonna request permission to land, and then I'm gonna slow down, and my ship will land itself for me. Look at this, it's freaking beautiful. Also, it plays some great music. So anyway, this is where I take a break and uh, drink some Monster and relax while I let my ship land itself. Now you can't do this while you're a smuggler. Because you'll, you'll get scanned, as I was just about to say. I guess I should have drank so that I could set it first. Um, but anyway, so you'll get scanned and on the top left of my screen it'll say that, um, that I'm clear, my scan is fine. But you guys can't see that because my face is in front of it. But I'm sure you guys don't mind. Um, anyway, so the deal is that when you're a smuggler and you get scanned, you get fined a crap ton of money. And if you don't pay that money off within a week, a real-time week, this game operates entirely in real time. Um, so now I'm, I'm entering the hangar now. So, yeah, this game operates in real time. So, if you don't pay that off in a real week, so let's say you accidentally got caught smuggling in a, uh, like, ten missile systems or something random. I don't know if that's even a thing that you can smuggle, but let's say you did that. You get caught doing that. You get fined, like, I don't know, 20,000 credits or something pretty substantial. And then you have a lot of work to do. In real life, you gotta work 
a full-time job, you come back, there's a bounty on your head. You can, I think, maybe pay off a bounty, but I think that you'll be wanted in systems afterwards, I think even if you pay it off. I'm not sure entirely how it works, I may be completely BSing, but that's kind of um, what I think happens. So anyway, it's bad thing, so always pay off your fines if you can. Um, right now, I have plenty, plenty of credits. Um, I'm saving up for a bigger ship, that's why. I have 1.8 million credits, which is a substantial amount. Um, it's not like it's a ton, but I've only been playing the game for like less than a month, so... Um, so I'm going to go into the shipyard. I can't remember what ships this uh, space station has for me to buy. Uh, I have a similar ship to this. I'll show it to you in a second. Um, this is one ship that I want. This is the Type 9, and it's 76 million credits, which is crazy, but its cargo capacity is just insane. Um, so let's go to the outfitting section. So this is my ship. This is beautiful. This is a mine launcher. I have plenty of those. So anyway, um, let's go into the internal thing so you can actually see. This is my ship. See this little tiny thing right there? That is my seat. The rest of the ship is just massive. And it doesn't feel like it's very massive because it's really nimble because of all the stuff I have in here. So you can customize your ship like nobody's business. It's so cool. Um, by the way, I found out that when you go into... Um, silent running it closes all your vents and stuff and that's why it's silent running um but it also builds up heat but these lights thing these lights on the side those are, i think are um radiators essentially so they get really hot but they disperse uh heat into space which i don't know how they do that i'm guessing that maybe air flows through and out i think that that's probably why they're called vents but um that would mean that there'd be, have to be a substantial amount of oxygen or whatever they're using for cooling. I guess it doesn't have to be oxygen um, on the ship, but whatever. Um, okay, so right now my my ship's armor is lightweight alloys, <laughs> um, which isn't, you know, it's not the best, but it's a pretty good armor. Um, do, 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 do. Like, as in, I haven't died very much with this ship yet. The insurance replaces your ship, but any upgrades that you get. So, um, every time you die, you lose your ship, but you get it back. But all your upgrades are lost permanently unless you buy them back. But when you die, when you first get your ship, you can start out with, like, a crappy ship. Or you can start out with your awesome ship, and, uh, that's what I choose to do every single time. Um, so I've upgraded quite a few things. I've upgraded the frame shift drive, which allows me to jump and enter super cruise. I've upgraded, I think, the life support. I've upgraded the power distributor a lot. And I'm going to see about... Well, I don't think I can upgrade the frame shift drive uh, for many reasons. Let me think. All right, so the one I have right now, hmm. But where is, I'm so confused. Huh. Okay, so I can't buy a bigger frame shift drive. Which is weird. I don't know what these are for. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, so there's optimal mass. So you try to buy a frame shift drive that has the best value for the mass of your ship, essentially. I was kind of trying to figure that out. So I have a better shield generator, uh, better engines... And I have the maximum amount of cargo capacity, so I've maxed out all my cargo so that I can uh, carry as much as possible and get most of the missions that are available for ships like mine. I really want a bigger ship, though, but those ones cost like 70-something million, so I'm just going to be getting um, a slightly bigger ship, probably the uh, ASP uh, Explorer, or the ASP Scout, or whatever. I think the ASP... Explorer, I think it is, has more cargo 
space than this ship. So anyway, and the standard docking computer allows me to land without having to do anything, which is really convenient. So let's look at the bulletin board and we'll see what kind of missions there are available. Um, I'm trying to build up some reputation with these guys. I used to be a smuggler, so I had mostly a negative one. Okay, so this is pretty easy. Uh, excellent rates of pay. And... Okay, yeah, so this is an easy mission. It's a cargo mission. And I just need to take the... the whatever it is. I don't even look at what I'm carrying most of the time. As long as it doesn't have this symbol, that's a smuggling run. But the other one was... Uh, the one that I have right here, let's look at the transactions, that is just a cargo mission. So, superconductors. So, six of them to the Fancher ring. So, let's uh, lock that target. Oh, it's really nearby. And then, we're going to just launch away. So, I don't need to go into silent running or anything. I might do a mission where I'm smuggling in the future. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I do. And if you guys want more Elite Dangerous, please tell me. Because I love playing this game. But I don't expect people to just want to watch me play the game. Because I don't want to start a series where I start from scratch. I want to I want to just continue where I'm at. So let's get the heck out of here. We're not like in a rush because we're smuggling. But we're in a rush because I want to get the crap done with my mission. So I can see if there's another one. A lot of times what I'll do, instead of coming back to the Garen hub every single time, um, I will just do missions and do more missions and do more missions until I, um, well, un like, until I am done with the game. And so, like, each station I go to, I'll check to see if there's more missions to do. Alright, I'm going to start the jump. The jumping talking. looks so pretty. I'll just let, let this sink in for a second before I continue talking. Um, yeah, because it's very pretty. Four, three, two, one, engage. So freaking pretty. Okay, so anyways, as I was saying, <laughs> uh, now that we're actually here, I'm gonna... Where is it? Is it the... Fan yeah, it's the Fancher ring, okay. Anyway, as I was saying, what I'll almost always do is when I get to a place like another station to do a mission. Once I've completed the mission, I will check in their bulletin board and see if there's any missions that I'm okay with doing. And usually, probably like four out of five times, they'll have a mission that I'm, that I'm willing to do. And really, the only uh, qualifications for a mission that I'm willing to do is it's a cargo mission and it makes over a hundred thousand uh, credits. This one I don't I don't remember how much it made. Yeah, it only There's a fine. What? Oh, if I fail. Okay. So 65 is the uh is the amount that I'll get. Generally, I don't mind if it's over 50,000, but I'd prefer that it was over 100,000. Like, that's pretty much a done deal. Like, I will pretty much do the mission if it's over 100,000. But I'll debate it. If it's like a 10,000 credit mission, I I usually won't do it. Because there's not really much point in taking that much time. I'll just go to a nearby system and check to see if they have any missions. But, I mean, like, considering the 10,000 uh, credit missions are pretty simple... Ones that cost a hundred thousand are usually just about as simple, and so I can make ten times the amount of money in exactly, well, I guess twice the amount of time because I'd have to go to a neighboring system. Like, yeah, that's basically it. Also, there's one place that I will never go again, and it's called Zudov Survey, I think, and it's the worst station 
in the entire universe. I don't know. There might be a worse one. But the the worst one that I've been to by far. The reason is... Is that... Oh, crap. I think someone's trying to get me. I don't know. Oh, no. Never mind. It's a wedding barge. Frick. Okay. Good. <laughs> it said today is the best day of my life. And usually they'll say crap like that when they're about to try to board your ship. Well, not board it. But, you know, attack it. Take all your crap. Same thing. Um... Anyway, so this, this Zudoff survey, basically what you do, whenever you jump in a system, you jump towards the nearest star, right? And so, uh, well, I guess the star at the center of the system. So you jump in there, and you're, at, you're in the star system, and you have to super cruise. And right now you'll see that I'm trying to keep it at 10 seconds away the entire time. But Zudoff survey is so far away that you have to pretty much reach top speed trying to get there. All right, now I can speed up now that I'm under five uh, MMs. Still don't know what that means. Oh my goodness. All right. So. All right, and then we'll request docking. So anyway, the Zudov survey place is so incredibly far away from the star that it takes a half hour of just flying at maximum speed, or like building up to maximum speed to get there. That is too long. And the entire time you're at risk of being attacked. So you can't just walk away and come back in a half hour. You have to sit there, not touching anything, and just sit there and just be like, I'm just waiting for the ship to make it all the way to the station so that I can get $50. Basically, not really, but, you know, it. they don't pay you enough for those missions. Like, honestly, I would still do it to this day if it was for 500000 But it's like, it's one of those, like, 50,000 credits, I think, missions. It's it's bad. So, I, I don't think I'll ever do one again. <laughs> unless, unless I get a massive ship and it pays a lot more for a lot more... Uh, a lot more product to be moved. So we'll enter the hangar. I always enter the hangar even though I don't really need to. It's just so fun and it looks pretty. Alright, so refueling. I always refuel. I used to fuel scoop. And it was efficient, but I'd always run into the freaking planet. Or the planet, the star that I'm scooping off of. And that wasn't a very good idea because it would end up costing as much in repairs as it would in fuel. So <laughs> felt like an idiot. Um, let's see. Alright, and we'll give the cargo. And there's no missions here, which is sad. Um, so now we have to go back, probably. Or, you know what? We might go to... Let's go to, uh, Lukianenko. Lukianenko. Vision. Alright, so now we'll launch. How far away is that? That's probably not super far away. This is such a pretty game, though, you guys. Um, I'm thinking that if Ninjanuity or Ethan gets this game, uh, and I'm looking at you guys, you guys gotta get this game, it's so fun. Um, I'm thinking that if either of them get this game, I'm thinking that I will probably uh, try out Piracy, which would be so cool. Landing gear retracted. Forgot to retract my landing gear, sorry. I'm also mass locked, so I can't um, switch my... Or I can't flip on my uh, frame shift drive until it, the little light in the bottom right is off, and it is now. Frame shift drive so I can charging. charge it up. Four, and that's my boost. Three, two, so, one thing, one, by the way, engage. for this game... My mouse is the best mouse ever for it. So, not only is it very pretty, but it also has all these buttons. You see all these buttons? Look at that. Look at how pretty these buttons are. There, now, now it's kind of focusing on them. A little bit. Wow, it's taking forever. Okay, anyway. So I've got 12 buttons on the side. So basically, I'm able to, whoops, uh, control all the ship's systems. And have, um... Well, okay, so I have... Lights, silent running, all of the um, the system controls, like diverting power to different systems. I have landing gear, I have boost, I have 
my headlights, and then I have my mouse sensitivity settings so that I can turn down the sensitivity when I'm trying to maneuver so that it's just little bits, or I can just like actually zoom around really quick. So, really, 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 really useful for this. Um, I highly recommend getting the Razer Naga just for Elite Dangerous. If you don't play MMOs like I don't, I'm not really an online game sort of person. Like, I like online games, um, but I get tired of them really fast, so there's that. But I can never get tired of games like this, that whether they have a story that's really epic and long, or if they have a uh, open-ended story that you make up on your own, those are my favorite. Those are just so fun. Although I haven't thought of much of a backstory for my guy that I am in this game, mostly because um, I can't decide what I want to do for a living in this game. <laughs> I keep, like, I keep thinking, oh, yeah, I'll try mining, and I'll, like, equip, like, four mining lasers, which is, like, ridiculous, and get a refinery and everything, mine for ten minutes, no joke, ten minutes, and then be like, well, I guess I'm back to smuggling, because there's no excitement in mining. Like, maybe if I went down to a planet and started mining, that would be pretty cool, but I can't yet, so there's no real point. But I, I imagine once I get the uh, season pass content, I'll um, just get an SRV and drive that thing around everywhere and mine things, of course. But yeah. So... Hopefully we get here someday. The music in this game is really cool. Also, this type of space station is probably the coolest looking out of all of them. Whoops, kind of drifting off to the side here. You guys will see it very shortly. If we ever freaking get here. We're not even close to this planet. I don't know why this... That'd be pretty cool, though, to be that far away from a planet. And... As soon as I get under 5, I usually speed up. Because then I'm still going slow enough to dock, but I get there a little bit faster than if I was trying to keep it at 10 seconds till arrival. But look at this type of space station. It's so beautiful. And now that I'm closer than 7.5 uh, kilometers, I can request docking. Docking request granted. And they granted it. And now I can look around while my ship uh, lands. That's my huge engine to the side, slowing me down. So freaking awesome. Very amazing looking space stations in this game. Oh my gosh. I really want to get like the Oculus Rift or maybe the HTC Vive. Um, especially because this game has virtual reality support. And that'd be so fun. I do have a head tracking software that I can use. But it's not exactly the best. Uh oh, they're scanning. Oh no, we have zero cargo. <laughs> we're just here, we're here to get cargo. And here we are. We have matched rotation with the space station. I don't use the advanced controls. I'm going to probably at some point. Oh, look at those guns. Those guns will destroy you if you loiter. Loitering is extremely uh, deadly in this game, so don't do it. Landing gear deployed. Music is amazing. So look at this, this station under me. And here's my landing pad right here. This would be so cool to do in real life, just freaking flying around in a spaceship. Unless you're in the universe of the movie, like, Alien, because that would be terrifying. So look at the space station, you guys. Look at how beautiful this is. Freaking awesome. Let's, uh, get to the hangar. But while we do that, looking around is so fun. And I like that there's a road that goes all the way around, because that's how gravity works on a rotating space station. Anyway, starport services. I guess I could shut off my headlights. And refuel bulletin board. What do we got? Do we have anything or do I have to return and return to the Garen hub and end this episode? They're all unattainable. Unobtainable. 
Do I need to be a entrepreneur? So, what is my rank right now? I'm a merchant, um, which is good, I guess. My reputation in the Federation is a little bit uh, negative, but that's okay. I want a little bit more positive reputation, but the problem with that is that I, I smuggled so much. <laughs> that and I didn't... Um, I, I kept uh, failing missions and having to pay fines. So, what I'm going to have to do is uh, return home, but not before I look at what ships they have here. Oh dang, they have 12 ships. So all these ships have different functions. This is the exact ship that I'm flying right now. Look at this thing. So like the only difference between these two is like the freaking huge engines on the side, which is quite a difference. Um, all right, this is the Asp Scout, the Vulture. That's a fighter, Asp Explorer. I believe this is one that I want. Let me check real quick. Whoop. So this one comes standard with 38 cargo, but this one also does, but I believe it has more room for upgrade. This is one ship that I really, 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 really want. Look at this thing. Like, how cool is that? It looks a lot like um, one of those freighters from Star Wars. Um, if you ever played the game Star Wars Starfighter, those, um, I think they were Trade Federation freighters. It looks just like those freaking things. And those were pretty awesome. And then, of course, back to the little Sidewinder. So, um, unfortunately, that has to be almost the end of the episode. I mean, I'm going to return to my space station. But, yeah, okay, we won't turn that on. So, while we're heading up, we'll switch over. Well, actually, let's just switch to Hanoi here. And here we go. And that that little list here is just a list of nearby star systems. So the, I think they're all the places that you can get to in one jump or something like that. Whoops, I opened up all my mine launchers. So the mine launchers are for if anyone actually successfully... Whoops, I bumped something. Sorry. <laughs> um, if you bump the space station without your shields on, you can actually really uh, get fined a lot for damage. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, it looks like I'm heading right into a nebula. So anyway, uh, yeah, my mine launchers are for when I am cat or when I'm pulled out of uh, super cruise. Frameship drive charging. Yeah, so I can I escape really quickly. So what I do is I boost away while recharging my shields or whatever I need to do, and um, just just get away as quickly as I can. But I just keep dropping mines behind me so that they can't fly right behind me. They have to be off to the side at least, and so that'll give me a little bit of an advantage because if you think about like the physical like following of a ship, you're right behind them, you're trying to shoot them. But if they're dropping mines, you have to go this way, so you have to, like, face your ship away unless you can strafe and turn. Which I guess if they had advanced ship controls, but these are AI, so I don't know if they even know how to do that. I don't know. I don't know the capabilities. All I know is that they tend to shoot me less when I drop mines behind me, so I'm going to keep doing it. Oh my gosh. Whoops, I accidentally tried to jump. Or, I guess, leave jump. When what I really wanted to do was... Uh, uh, make a jump, but I didn't even think about the fact that I'm in the right star system. So, I'm used to making long range trips, so every time I see this symbol, I'm like, oop, gotta hit the jump button. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. When you make, when you make jumps between multiple star systems, you jump, and then you're at the star, and then you turn, face your waypoint, and then you jump again. And then you turn, face your waypoint, jump again and you just keep doing that for like a good 10 minutes and then you've made it like a really freaking long way like right now I think even right now I'm pretty sure I could make it to the soul system without having to refuel which is pretty awesome before when I was playing this game I could only make one jump and that would take like a quarter of my tank or something like that so uh or it maybe even more and so it was actually like, can I make a jump? Let me check my fuel. 
it was it was pretty intense so whoa 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 let's slow down okay anyway but no it's so nice to be able to just go anywhere in the universe that you want like you can just be so far away from any online players in this game that there's there's almost no point in playing with uh, online people unless you go to inhabited places or you're playing with your friends so which honestly is a really fun idea I really want to play with Ninjanuity and Ethan but they just they just have to get this game you know so <laughs> um, I mean Ethan just got uh, space engineers so there is that so thank you so much for doing that because that was amazing but now you just got to keep saving up all right and we are almost here look at this planet don't even know what it's called it's probably oh it's called Penoe 3 well it has a uh, has a little name tag right there that would have probably helped if I had looked at that before I made a fool of myself but I wouldn't have uh, been so good at making a fool of myself if I had habits like that. This is pretty cool though. The interior of the ships is just amazing. And we are just about ready to speed up. Come on. Alright, speeding up. And initiating landing. Beautiful. I was really hoping that I'd get to do one more mission, but that's okay. I don't mind too much. And we are within range of docking. docking request granted. And now it lands for us, I guess. Yeah. So, if you guys really want me to keep playing this game on my YouTube channel, please let me know. Also, if you guys would rather me land on my own, let me know. Because I can just disable the auto landing sequence so there's that <laughs> um, yeah so any suggestions that you guys have or anything like that please uh, let me know because I really want to make this about you guys and so I'm just I'm just doing what I think is fun up until you guys tell me what you guys want to see so if you want to see more of this I am so happy to record more and let me know what you guys want me to try. I can try buying another ship sometime and just flying it around and blowing crap up or whatever you want. I'm not going to try to do stuff that will ruin my reputation in systems, um, at least not yet. But yeah, I'm very open to suggestions, so please let me know what you guys think in the comments. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do leave a like, and I will see all of you guys in the next one. Bye. Successful. Engines this game. disengaged. Mini beauty. Very wow.